So we understand how we have to make a precedence diagram and now we are going to introduce this precedence diagram in what we call the critical path method. The first step in the critical path method is the precedence diagram. The next steps of this method will be shown in the next sessions. First of all, the precedence diagram. A very short session. We have to draw the precedence diagram. In fact, that's what we did in the previous session. And here is the same precedence diagram. We have the duration information added to the different activities because now we have to calculate the early start, early finish, late start, late finish, the slack, and finally we have to identify which of these paths is the critical path. So, a very short session. See you at the next ones. Those will be a little bit more complicated. Keep up the good work.